Another tool we can use in native grasses for weed control is prescribed fire. Prescribed fire is not essential for managing native grasses, but it sure does provide a good tool for suppressing weeds and thickening stands. So the key to prescribed fire is timing. If we burn too early, it can encourage cool season weed encroachment, just like we've discussed with fertilizing too early. We encourage those weeds at the expense of the warm season plants. Similarly, if we burn too late, once the native grasses have really started to grow considerably, we set them back and once again open up a window for weed encroachment. So what we want to do is we want to get it kind of like Goldilocks, just right. We want to burn when the native grasses are breaking dormancy. And one of the things we look for is shoot development, very early shoot development. As we look at the base of that plant, what we'll see is little green shoots that are growing. And once they reach about three to four inches in height, that's the key for when we want to burn. Now in Tennessee, that typically occurs uh, last week of March, first week of April. And so that's a really good time to try to plan to burn. Uh, don't be concerned about harming that plant when those shoots are up. What those shoots are telling us is that plant is on the verge of really taking off and that's why this is a good time to burn because we know that plant will respond vigorously to that fire. Now if you're not used to using prescribed fire, please by all means find someone who is experienced to work with you. And always pay attention to your local and state regulations in terms of using prescribed fire and make sure that you're in compliance with that and are practicing the use of prescribed burning safely.